sure is peaceful here since Ryan and Donovan left, and I'm surprised that the loudmouth Seaboard freak isn't here either. Eddie is still in the Bone Valley. As for Ryan and Donovan, while they're leased out in the west for a time being, you'll never know when their leasing time will expire. Alright engines, listen up. 3062 and 8734, you will be going on the Q648 to Chicago. And 8116 and 5004, you'll be going on the Q603 to Winston. 8116 will be assigned a lead. Wow, finally I can lead road duty for once instead of switching all day. Though then again, I might have to put up with Eddie. Hopefully he doesn't give me too many problems. Alright, I'll take it. Hopefully I can get to see my cousin Rachel there for once. I haven't seen her in a while ever since I was delivered. Sweet, I get to visit the Midwest again. Well, let's just get to the fuel stations while we wait for someone to set up our trains. Well, time to get some fresh air. We are soon ready to depart. Hope you have fun down in Florida. You too. Though I heard the weather is harsh up in Chicago. Hope your engine doesn't freeze there. Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine. Dispatcher at Q603 and Q648. CSXT, locomotives 8116 and 3062. You have the clear to high vault to your destinations. to that shed over there. I, I feel like my engine is going to freeze. Sure thing. since we met each other. It's great to see you again. How has it been? It's been good. How's living in the South been? Busy as usual. I've made new friends. Some engines are nice, and some are just, eh, the ones you'd rather not be near. Yeah, I heard there are some engines out who are not friendly at all. But here in Chicago, we have engines who are willing to help despite all the congestion we have. Since we have six class one railroads running here, we rather collaborate to keep the trains running smooth. By the way, I'm glad you're here. I need your help with an important job. What is it? The nearby airport is almost out of fuel and we need to take a shuttle run to it. There are some tankers that we need to deliver. A local? But I never deliver locals before. I'm more used to road trains. Don't worry, I'll help you out on this. But why a local? Are we meant to be on road trains? Some of our switchers are having trouble starting up due to it being freezing cold. Oh, well, I'll try, I guess. Whoa, slow down. You know you could have damaged my coupler if you went any faster than this. 
sorry. It's just too slippery to adjust my speed. Try turning on your sanders so you can get a good grip. Ready? Ready. Remember to not go too fast. The tracks are slippery. You forgot to blow your horn. Dang it, but well, it's very hot to see with all this snow. Just pass another crossing without blowing the horn. <sighs> Look, I'm just not used to walking in this kind of condition. Just try to concentrate on what's ahead of you and keep your bell on in case. All right. So what do we have to wait for? We have a commuter train that is hot on the wheels of us, so we have to wait for it to overtake us. <sighs> All we have to do is unload them here, then pull into the other track to load in diesel and aviation fuel. Downloading in this field. We have another train aligned with here, so we have to wait for that. Finally, at least it isn't some heavy radiator metro train. That's done. Now we are to head to the airport and unload the rest of the fuel. Then we are done for the day. This job is over with. Now let's head back into the yard so we can uncouple from these tank cars and get fueled up for our next assignment. So how has my performance been? You are gradually getting there. You just gotta work on your vision and speed in this kind of weather. Well, glad I get to learn new things since I will at some point get assigned on locals in the future. Though I'm kind of bit worried that I might get in trouble for not blowing my horn at those few crossings. Uh, don't worry. As long as others didn't catch, then you should be fine.
Do they need to just say he didn't blow his horn? Well, it's too snowy and he's new to this area. Either way, I'm going to report him to the Yardmaster. What? No, you can't do that. He's my friend. Plus, it's not his fault why he couldn't blow his horn. Hey, why'd you leave him alone? What's your problem? They would see a safe locomotive with number 3062 forgot to blow his horn at some crossings. And that's illegal, you know. He should get cut by the yard master for that. It's not his fault. It's too hard to see in this harsh weather. I swear to me, mother, the next time I see those hoodlums, I'll have Jack and I to roast a shoot out of them. You know they're here with me right now. God dang it. Grr, that joke. Just ignore them. This is why I sometimes have a hard time trying to trust other engines when it comes to me being assigned as a foreign power outside my territory. Well, yeah. I know there's some rude engines out there, but that doesn't mean that all engines outside your territory are bad, you know? Yeah, you're right. Even Waycross has some of the worst engines, too. One is seaboard obsessed, one is extremely lazy, one takes too much pride in work, and the other two are, you probably don't want to know. Oh hey there, is your engine all warmed up? Yep, I am ready for any assignments. 8734 and 3062, you are to be on the Q647 to Waycross. Well, looks like I served my time here. How do you feel of heading back south? I think I'm ready to head home now. The south is where I'm assigned, and I can't stay here too long since my friends and the yard masters are counting on me. Since you helped me out with my job, I'm going to have to set up your train. You're a yard switcher too? Wow, never heard a road hauler doing yard work before, especially since you're a Jeevo. I like to help organize this yard to keep it from being a mess, especially when our switchers are having trouble. Oh really? That's unique. I wonder if I would get put as a yard switcher one day. You will at some point. Anyways, I'll be back. I'm going to arrange your train. Alright, your train is ready. Thank you. Hope we can see each other again sometime soon. It was great having you here. You have a safe trip back home. I had a wonderful time with my cousin, and you would not believe what I learned to pull. What is it? I got to pull a local, and even in the snowy weather too. And I learned that my cousin can also do yard switching as well, which I might get assigned to in the future. Interesting. If you need any tips, come to me. I also had a great time with my brother and my cousin too. Who even cares? All that matters is Sabor! Ah, <sighs> since when did Eddie ever return? <sighs> right when I got back. That idiot complained the whole time all because of a stupid boxcar. The boxcar was gonna be mine! I just came back from having a good time with my cousin, and now I'm in the middle of this petty argument over some stupid boxcar? If that's the case, I'm out of here. I'm not staying here full of engines arguing. Yeah, you best get out of here. Because you don't want to hear him when he's complaining. Trust me, I have to go through this on a daily basis. That's right! Beat it, you stupid Geo! You're as great doing MDs like us! How many times do I have to tell you, Eddie, to stop being such a loudmouth and rude? Who even cares about the worst piece of garbage anyways? I do! He's my friend! Well, he doesn't deserve to be here, because he's not a Sabor! Hey! Foolish engine! Can the chit chat get to work? We have the Q602 with BNSF and UP lasers about to arrive here soon. Ah, uh, whatever. 